guys and welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be on how I style my short hair before I used to have pretty long hair and I was really really sad I was going through some old pictures of mine and I saw my hair how it used to be so long um, I normally just blow dry it and then just kind of like flat iron it and then on the ends I kind of tend to just kind of do like a like in inwards but it still doesn't look that appealing um, I just want to share with you guys what works for me and my short hair and how I add a little bit of volume to my hair and that is by since it's a lot shorter and what I did for now I grabbed yeah <laughs> one of my set of hair extensions that I was no longer using and I cut them to the length of my hair. I cut them a little bit longer because um, I wanted to get a little bit of more volume so if I cut it real short like my hair and then I curl it it's just gonna be like shorter so I cut them a little bit longer just to make sure that I have the, the right length that I want and it doesn't look weird so I did that. So if you want to see how I achieve voluminous uh not but i would say everyday beach waves for short hair all you have to do is keep watching so i'm gonna try to make it a talk through so we don't have to like just see me doing my hair and just not explaining what the hell am i doing on my hair so i'm going to part it a little bit you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna part it halfway just like that halfway no science I'm not showing you what my back looks like because it's just pretty much half away and of course I'm going to be using my heat protectant and this is my holy girl heat protectant I don't use anything else it's been with me for years 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 and I love and it's the Tresemme thermal creation uh heat tamer leaving spray and smells really really good so I'm just gonna spray a little bit Especially on my ends where I'm going to be um, applying most heat, most of the heat. Oh, I love how it smells. So we're just going to let that dry a little bit. And I'm going to part it halfway in the back so I can just bring. So you just have one here, one here. And if it's too thick and you want them a little bit looser, you can always just kind of part it. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna part it halfway there, and this is how I'm gonna start. But I'm only gonna part it in two, and then I'm going to start. Oh, don't forget, <laughs> wear your gloves because, girl, my burns on this baby has been horrendous. Like, horrendous. I'm parting it two ways, and I'm starting with the one that's closest to my back. So pretty much that one right there and I'm just gonna grab my curling iron from the back and curl it and I'm leaving at least a quarter or less than a quarter I would say like probably half an inch off my ends off the curling wand I don't want to curl my ends so after a couple of seconds this is what you want to get just a regular loose curl and again we're not curling the ends and the last one a little bit because like that it it kind of helps it adhere the um and then this one I'm just going to do it the other way so if you start backwards then you do forwards backwards forwards backwards forwards just because you don't want the curls to get stuck together what it looks like and all I'm gonna do is do the same thing and I'm just going to move to the other part of my hair so first of I'm just gonna bring the other part that I parted and then I'm just gonna move forward
inside of my hair and I like to take the front one and part it and then the back one I like to do by part because my hair has some sort of dysfunction so I have like very short hair in the back I got long hair in the middle have very short hair in the front so I start by the back part because as you can see it's very small very short Um, heat protection is it dries really quick. Alright, so that's one side of my hair. See how it gets shorter? Like, I don't style yet my uh, my front veins or my front part. I usually, when I'm trying to do a loose curl, I tend to leave it um straight. All depends at the end how I feel. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did to this side, pretty much to my other side of the hair. So what I like to do at the end, of course, I leave my front front bangs or my front part of my hair undone. And if I see that they're too long, all I do is grab the end, just like this, and leave it on the curling one for about five seconds and then just shake it off. It kind of gives it a nice wave. And then what I like to do is I like to use a comb and I don't comb much the top part. All I like to do is sort of tease it in the inside, just like this. Tease it on the inside just so it gives me a little bit of more volume. So just tease it on the inside just because my hair is short. And if it's short and I'm getting, I'm doing some waves or something, then I definitely want more volume on my hair. And as you can see, I can leave it like this, but I really don't like it. I want a little bit more of volume. Sort of messy hair, just woke, out of, woke up a bed. And I'm gonna be trying the, just because it came in my Target beauty box, I'm gonna try the Tresemme Tress 2 Spray Hairspray. So I'm gonna spray a little bit first. It's such a mess in this place. First, I'm gonna spray it on the roots lift my hair up and flurry on the roots and then just sort of a little bit everywhere and just sort of do this just to make sure that it gets a little more you guys would see the mess I have on my vanity maybe you guys would be like what is that mess I have so much reviews to do and if I don't take out the products I don't so pretty much what I'm trying to do nice messy hair because my hair is so short and straight. This is what I do. I don't know if you guys can see it. This is pretty much the end result. All I do is pretty much thick wave and leave the uh, um, in front one just pretty much as it is. And that gives it a little bit of a more natural peeling to it just rather than just pretty much curling everything. So if you see that the, like this area here is too flat for you, you can always come with the curling wand closer to your roots. I really don't like it. I really just like it to be like this. And if anything, I go in here and I tease my hair. Just that it can look a little bit more with volume. As you can see. 
doesn't matter if you get it messy the whole point of this look is to do that to look like messy just got out of bed and if you want to add the volume like i said you can always go in with your hair extensions and pretty much just do the same so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be curling my hair extensions and then i'm just going to be applying them so you can see the difference on how it looks without extensions your natural hair and how it looks with hair extensions. Pretty much just two webs is what I'm wearing because all I want is just a little bit more volume on the back side of my hair. All right, so once you're done curling your hair extension, go ahead and part your hair there where you put the first hair extensions. And you're just gonna place them there. Not a big audio. Again, I'm doing this for a volumen, not for length because my hair is short and we're just doing short hair. So you can see, pretty much just matches the, and the hair extensions I'm using is of course, um, ones that I wasn't using. These are um, Love to Her Princess. And there we go. Gives me a little bit of more of a length to my hair and of course if you're looking at me from the back it gives me a little bit more length and a little bit more um volume i love it, it gives me more volume excuse me there's a big difference and i did cut them a little bit longer than my hair like i said just because i wanted to just in case i curled them up um and they were shorter but i love it it gives me a little bit more of a vo um, length and it looks totally totally not i hope you enjoy this quick and easy effortless wave tutorial making your shorter hair appear a little bit longer but still looking natural that you can just be like heck yeah i got short hair and i'm rocking it so i hope you like it and maybe i put it in the beginning but i didn't mention it what i'm using <laughs> to curl my hair i use the three in one new me titan um curling ones they come uh, three barrels in one the 13 the 25 and the 32 and i use the 32 millimeter one to um achieve this look and if you guys like this video and you want a more hair tutorials for your short hair um all you have to do is thumbs up this video and if you have a friend that has short hair and she doesn't know what to do with it just go ahead and share this video with your friend believe me she'll thank you <laughs> and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for go ahead and click that subscribe button and thank you so much for sticking till the end this will just be best precious pearls and i will see you on my next video bye